we're going to stay outside now, outdoors. We've got a great DIY project from Nicholas Rosashi. Hello, hey, Nicholas. Tracy. We're making an outdoor mat. We are today. We're making a very welcoming and colorful DIY wood floor mat. Okay. And it uses basic power tools and, of course, inexpensive lumber from Lowe's and some really inexpensive hardware as well. So I think anybody can do this project. Very good. Okay, so it's so essential this time of year as well. You're going in and out constantly. You are. That's and you right. want something that looks good, but it's going to be really durable. So using wood is a smart idea. Wood is really great, but all uh, we're using pine board, and that's what it is. But okay. it, there's also a PVC version of it too. So if water is a concern or dampness, good. you can do it in the PVC version. Okay. I don't have a, a sort of a water or wetness problem, and I don't have a wetness problem. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank goodness, goodness, right? Goodness. But I don't on my patio, so definitely <laughs> it, it kind of works in the wood. And I just also love the aesthetic of the wood, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's too okay. funny. I love that. If but you don't have a wetness problem, then <laughs> that's right. You can absolutely. use this. So you're going to start with uh, with these boards, and you're going to start by chopping them up. Look we at are. the heavy machinery you brought. A lot okay. of people are afraid of power tools. It can be quite intimidating, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel sometimes once you get it in your hands, the fear instantly goes away, and then it's just all about what can I create Fun. next. Can I do this, wanted right? to wear these glasses so badly, but you should wear them. Safety protection is so important. Do right? you have glasses? I do. I have some of these ones over here. So you put those on if you're going to saw, and I'll put these I on because they yes. look cool. They do, and that's the whole thing. There you should go. look cool I'm while you're doing nothing, DIY, by the right? Way, but cool and safe, right? Go ahead. Oh, here we go. Okay, you ready? Saw there we go. Now, if you are worried <laughs> about cutting the wood, like if there's a little chip or something, don't worry about that. We're going to sand that as well. Okay. And these also come pre-primed from Lowe's, so that's awesome. Very but good. But they'll also cut it for you. So if you're really afraid of all this, they offer an inexpensive cutting service. So even that, you don't have to worry about, Just right? Just give them the measurements and they'll give go for Give them the measurements it. and they'll do it for you, right? Woo! So, ooh, okay. squeaky, So huh? we have cut several of these pieces, and what do we do we next? We have. Okay, so next, we're going to use our drill press, right? But before okay. we do that, we're going to take our ruler. Yes. So I've got one here, and we're going to mark out from the corner. I don't know if anybody can see that um, one inch and one eighth in with the ruler and that's where our first hole is going to go all right and you want to make sure you measure that on each one because you want them all to be in the same place, on each right? one that's right yes now what I've done is I've made one already with the two holes in it and this becomes a template right yes. so actually if I just put that on top of the the normal piece of wood that we haven't done anything on I can just take my pencil push it through the holes I'm coming over here so that we can get a shot of what you're doing oh, okay great. so you've made two holes here I've made two here's measured yep. this out so this is absolutely perfect and to spec okay. and then I'm just gonna dot with a pencil a couple of dots and now I've got my markings for the drill press and it's perfect right and you know how to do the next set and the next set and, and the, the next, next set, set and the next set it just right. it saves time right you don't have to measure all the time and what's our next step so, so we've now, done all of our holes all of our holes are marked yep. and now we're gonna use the drill press right so you want to actually do one or do you want to just move on? Do you want to move on from it? Okay, yeah, that's because that is let's, so easy. Let's pretend we let's use pretend. the drill press. Okay, good, good, good. They, so now I've got them all drilled. Gonna end up. It's going to be a hole. It's fabulous, but you can use a power drill as well. But that just gives you a, a cleaner hole, right, to sort okay. of work with. So that's way nicer. So now we have this kind of, you know, thing going on, and these are called threaded rods, right? These okay. are very inexpensive, and these are called acorn caps because right. they kind of look like an acorn. I'm not sure if you let's can sort of see that. Let's just show them that. Is that cool? This at the top here. Okay, so you want to make sure you've got one of these. You've got one of these. With one of those. With one of those, and then you're just going to thread them through the holes. All Let's right. See, we'll move all this out of the way. This ah. is the easy part. Once you've this done is all so the heavy easy. Lifting. You know what the hardest thing about this project is? Really, the painting, right? Because okay. if you're doing multiple uh, multiple colors, like I sort of did with this pixelated look, yeah. I had to keep washing the paintbrush, right? So that was really annoying. But they kind of easily go through, right? Okay. And then that's it. And what we would do is in between there, we'd add our other ones, right? So it creates the pattern. So. Okay. And then voila, you have this amazing doormat. Look at that. Okay, so the painting is the hard part. The so painting is the hard part. If you want the multicolored, like, we like we're showing right now, yes. you're doing each one. You're doing each one. I would probably say, like, uh, have four or five paintbrushes on the go, and yes. then you don't have to rinse in between. Right. But what I love about it is, you know, as a DIYer, you have all these paint samples, or maybe you have leftover paint at home. Yes. It's a great way to use that up, right? Yes. And we're so afraid to paint our doors a pop of color all the time time let me take these off we're so afraid to do that right I and like if you're them. afraid to do it then do it on the floor mat bring the color to your doormat good so stuff chic. nicholas thank you're you so welcome. much